What is happening in Formula One 2024? I just watched the Belgium Grand Prix, and although I was expecting McLaren to win, obviously, based on this, I just witnessed probably one of the most interesting races in such a long time, given that George Russell won the race and then was disqualified for having an underway car. Now, I didn't see this coming because I obviously watched the race and I was sitting there. I'm like, you know, I'm going to talk about how great of a race George had because to make a call like let's do a one stop when everyone's doing a two stop is risky, especially on a track like Spa. Well, I guess maybe not. Like, it's a better track to make that call. But drivers usually don't say, hey, let's go one stop and go long. And, you know, pit stop, lap 10, and then 34 laps on an old set of tires, it's risk. So, when he won, I was genuinely impressed because he ran a good race. Lewis couldn't even catch him at the end of the race, which was, like, pretty mind-boggling. And then I just opened the social media the second I finished the race because I obviously slept in and George has been disqualified, which must be crushing for him because I watched, I was watching him celebrate and he, he earned that, he earned that win and you can't get that back. However, I put all of my, my, uh, fantasy points in McLaren. So it worked out for me that George is disqualified in my pool. So here is the poster this weekend as we go into the summer break. This is my Belgium Grand Prix poster. And it's actually kind of sad because I think this is the best one I've made. It's actually a nod to the ones I have over there. It's, you know, the car flying in the air, except that one's Monaco. And it was a really good time to make. This is the famous corner called Eau Rouge if you don't watch Formula One. It's a, it's a really, really, really fast uphill corner. You basically go blind into a long straight. And there's always a lot of drama on this corner. Because it basically leads you into a straight that if you get the right line, you're passing whoever's in front of you. So it makes Spa a very interesting track. But yeah, so that's, that's what it is. I, uh... As we're going into the summer break, I'm debating if I'm changing my strategy here and going from drawing my character, which I should just keep doing, and then McLaren MP4, and maybe switching out to the car that wins the race after, but then I'm basically going to lose all my Sundays, which is what I'm trying to avoid. It's like I watch the race, I make this video, I edit the video, I post it right away, and then I live. And I feel like if I spend four hours drawing, that might cut into my weekend, which is fine. Yeah, let's talk about everyone else in the race. Lewis is now the winner, which is amazing, unexpected, and deserved. Piastri got second, which I, would that put Leclerc into third? Podium for Leclerc. So great, my money was on Ferrari. Lando had a terrible start. Lost three spaces. But Max never, Max never recovered from his grid penalty, which I thought was kind of funny because he kept saying, like, should I push now? Should I push? You know, I'm going to open it up. And he kept, like, threatening to drive faster. And he didn't. Nothing happened with Max. It was kind of an uneventful race for him. He got fifth. And it's just looking like the Constructor and Driver Championships are, like, really coming alive. And we have another ten or so races. And at this stage, I genuinely believe that Red Bull probably won't win the Constructor. And there's an actual contender for the driver championship. They were calling Lando the championship rival. So no one saw us coming this year. I think it's amazing. Yeah, so this is the poster. One thing I like about this one, I just really like, you know, if you put all these side by side, which I'm sure if anyone ever has seen these videos, which is like six people or has seen the actual drawings together, they are all very similar in a lot of ways and I'm kind of torn on whether or not these go into my show because the plan obviously if you know me personally is I'm having a show in a few months 
and that's mostly paintings. They're all over here. You can't see them. I won't show you them. Oh, this is one right here, actually. I'm not, I don't know if that's going to go on the show. But on top of that, I'm thinking about putting these F1 posters in. And if McLaren wins the Constructor Championship, I definitely need to have these in. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Um, but yeah, amazing race at Spa. I have no idea what happened after Perez because I saw Ocon, Albin... No one else really got any points that I had my money on. Perez sort of did fine. You know, I wouldn't call Perez having any kind of acceptable race. For someone that started so well. I don't know. I feel bad for him. I think he'll be gone in the summer or after the summer break replaced with Ricardo or Lawson. So whatever, I don't have a, an opinion on that. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. That was the Belgium Grand Prix. It is now the summer break. So there's a month off. I am going to probably post one more video during that break, we'll see. And just keep making art and enjoying summer. And thank you if you watch this. I know there's probably none of you there, but I thank you anyways, because I just like making these. So peace.